I'm trying to think of one of those liberal things right now. <laughs> I'm crisscrossing the Bible Belt to rediscover my southern family. This is our road map for the trip. It's my family tree. The way Bush is doing things right now, the way my mom and dad are struggling, their medicine was cut because they couldn't afford to pay. Their medicine run them $500 a month. That left them with maybe $500 a month to live, and you can't make it on that. They worked all their life to be in poverty. You don't know, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a chosen dictatorship. We don't have to do what he tells us, but odds are we are. While some Christians, like my cousin Don, pray for a Christian state, others pray for the end of the world. The Bible describes a period of time coming yet as the beginning of sorrows, where one-fourth of the world's population will be destroyed in some of them, one-third of the world's population in another, not only of people, but of animals of the world, as fish in the sea, because these are what are referred to here as the time of sorrows. We can't reach my Aunt Ruth, so we decide to seek out Tim, my long-lost cowboy cousin who lives in Blanco. But we can't find my cousin or the ranch. I was raised as a hard shell Baptist, as a fundamentalist. There'd be times when I was scared of Satan, scared of, you know, like the scaly red bifurcated tail, you know, uh, Satan. And, uh, but thankfully that's, that's passed. Now I'm scared of the, the followers. <laughs> <laughs> 